Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Chrono Cross. Today we're going to be kind of prepping for entering the Terra Tower. So to do that we need to get a couple of things and just do a couple of things. So let's get one of the more obvious ones out of the way. Let's go ahead and grab the Chrono Cross. Uh, so this is an item needed to get a good ending at the end of the game. And obviously the game is named Chrono Cross. I think it is in this world. Now, I read somewhere that you need Stina with you, which I don't think so, but if we do, that's fine. If we truly do, I will go and get Stina in our party. So yeah, let's... These two pedestals. By the way, we could have came here earlier in the game, but obviously there's no reason to, so I just didn't bother. If this is an altar of the Divine Dragon Worshippers, then maybe Stina knows something. Ah, we need Stina. I'm pretty sure we have both the tears, the dragon tears, that hate and love, right? So we should be able to make the Chrono Cross. By the great dragon gods, the Sacrium of the Divine Dragon Fall still exists and seems functional. Let's just, as the legends of old said it would be, what a blessing. Utilizing its power, we just may be able to create the Chrono Cross here. Try placing the two pieces of the dragon tear, the tear of hate and the tear of love, on these stands. Let's go over here and... Tear of Hate, and there's a little animation with it, and the Tear of Bad Analog Sticks. Oh, um, I guess I wasn't close enough. And that should make the Chrono Cross. And these things are just gonna fly around forever. Cool. Search received the Chrono Cross. Look at that. Is that it? Do we, do we just have it now? Oh, we have the Chrono Cross in our thingy. By the way, let's go to equip. So, does he have. Okay, so we didn't equip the Master Mune yet. So, let's go ahead and obviously. Bam. Uh, it's the best swallow of the game, other than the Spectre Swallow, uh, but the Master Mune most people consider better still just because of its critical, and then elements. I'm pretty sure Chrono Cross is an element, uh, so we're going to just go ahead and uh, replace Fireball with, oh, oh, oopsies, replace Fireball with, if my controller would work right, the Chrono Cross. So you guys might be saying, well, it's on the wrong level. It actually doesn't really matter what level it's on. Uh, if we want to beat the game with it, we just need to cast it. It doesn't really matter what level it's on. So that's all good in the hood. So next, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing some actual prep for the Terra Tower. So if you guys were here an episode or two ago, Fargo did say, well, how are we going to get inside the Terra Tower? It's not like our boat can fly. So what we're going to have to do is make our boat fly, and to do that, we're going to need to get, uh, like a gravitational device, that's kind of like a little bit of a spoiler. So what we're going to be doing is traveling to the other world. We're going to be going down into the El Nido Triangle, gathering uh, this uh, star piece thingamajigger, then going to the Sky Dragon Isle, fighting something, and then bringing him with us down back into the other world and that should get us the item that we need to get up into the Terra Tower. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and go to the El Nido Triangle. Now, my memory is a bit rusty and I actually forgot where this was, but I'm pretty sure I know. I'm pretty sure I know, isn't it? Yeah, okay, it is down here. Never mind, I do know where it is. This is the El Nido Triangle. Kind of like the Bermuda Triangle, if y'all know what I'm saying. A lot of weird stuff going on here. Oh, I can't go fast. Okay. Uh, Go in. Yes, let us go in. And once again, I could have done this way earlier in the game. Uh, but I just didn't bother. And a lot of these fish I could fight. I think I'm so over-leveled for these fish. There's actually no reason for me to fight them. So I'm just going to run past them. Mithril. See, this place still has Mithril. 
I'm like two steps above Mithril already. So I definitely don't need this stuff. We're just gonna try to go straight for uh, what we need. Straight for what we- oh, I was like, is he not climbing down? Come on, buddy, climb down. Alright, now we should- oop, let's dodge these fish. We- it- maybe it's the other- it looks like it is the other one, maybe. Well, either- no! Okay, so let's see what's in this chest. Oh, no, the fish is gonna fight us. But we did get the star fragment, and I think that's what we need. Alright, everybody, so let us head out of here and head to the Sky Dragon Isle. And we are... Oh, almost hit that. We are in Homeworld, so not the Another World. Because, obviously, in the Other World, the Sky Island doesn't exist anymore. Uh, it was basically blown up, and now it is the Terra Tower. But, in this world, the Sky... Uh, Sky Dragon Isle still exists. That's where we're going to be heading to to fight a little somebody. Also, I still have Stina in my party by accident, so I should probably switch her out quickly. You know, I'm just going to do this on camera since Orla. I didn't bother to take all their items off because I know I need her just for like one little sequence. Where is Orla at? Oh, she's over here. I was like, did I lose her? Bam, there we go. And we should be good. So let's head over to the Sky Dragon Isle. Bam. So let's head up here and we're going to have a little battle. It's going to be great though. It's it's one of the cooler characters in Chrono Cross in my opinion. I personally don't like them that much. Um, but it's pretty cool. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, but you guys will see in a minute here. And anyway, I was hoping like I might... I was kind of in my mind thinking that I might just not do this quest uh, but then once I read up on it and saw that it was necessary I'm like oh, okay well um I'm okay with that and that's a little what is that <laughs> there was a little thing running on the ground Let's see what's in the chest it's empty oh give me star fragment so that's what we needed to get we needed that star fragment um, without that star fragment he wouldn't have came so now that he's here, we get to fight him a little bit. And he should be pretty easy. He's not like a hard boss or anything. Let's go ahead and try to get a few hits on the guy. Okay, so he's fairly tough. So yeah, I don't know how much HP he has. I didn't really look up that part. But, once again, we'll just keep hitting him. And he'll die eventually. Because we do hit pretty hard at this point. Okay, let's see how much damage this does. Does it do a lot? Aw, oh, it literally does nothing. Even on Surge, who's a... Wait, this guy white or dark? I forgot, I didn't look. Yeah, we're, just gonna... we're not gonna even bother with elements. We're just gonna keep hitting them. With normal basic attacks. But his attacks are cool. Kind of like little cute animations. Man, how much HP does this guy have? Here, okay, so he is a white innate. Well, yeah, so I guess we don't have anyone weak to that. We don't have Grobot nor Lynx anymore. Or Harl. So I don't really have anyone with that type. Actually, I'm gonna go to Surge. Surge hits harder. Whenever I can attack with him, I will, because he's the best, hardest, hardest hitter. There we go, he's low already. So this guy should be done in a second here. over to surge you know let's just go for that three. Ah, oh, you missed ah oh, you missed two in a row that's bummy oh well that'll just add like 10 seconds onto our battle that is fine you know what let me turn my headset down man the headset is loud or i had it up loud for some reason oh man you missed you know let's go to surge again I'll just attack with twos, I guess. There we go. Good hit. And then switch over to Orla. I think Orla hits a little bit better than Kit. But that should be it right there. So, no problemo. No problemo. Ba -ba -ba -bum. So, now we... 
Yeah, I think he joins our party, correct? So the real body of the monster was this small. Nah, a uh, mysterious creature. Uh, star fragment mine. Catch him with the X button. Okay. Oh, God, we gotta, like, chase him. <laughs> we literally gotta chase him down. What a... Starkey shocked. Starkey got caught. You win. Who are you? Starkey come from far away stars, but Starkey ship fall from the sky. Star fragment is Starkey's ship fragment. The ship turned to fragments after crash. So that's why you were collecting fragments. If we're lucky, your ship might still be intact in the other world. Really, whoopee, Starkey will come with you. Alright, let's bring Starkey on in. Damn. Coolio. Okay, so let's take a look at his stats. Yeah, he's not terrible, his attack is a bit low. But yep, there is Starkey. Now, we have to go, like a kid said, let's go ahead and go over to the other world. Now, this next boss, uh, I'm just going to give it a little spoiler just because we have to prep for it. And in case you're playing, I want to get you to be prepped for it. So, it's going to be like a jellyfish type creature. The trick with this boss, though, is that it only get hurt it only it only get hurts it only gets hurt by red innate elements so basically what i'm gonna have to do is put on a bunch of red elements so i'm gonna switch worlds and put on some red elements okay everybody i went ahead saved switched um some elements around and i'm at the other world so let's go check it out let's see what is going on what do y'all want I've discovered a mysterious object down below, but there's a nasty creature. Okay, well, we're going to be taking down that nasty creature, I guess, right? That is our only option. Okay, so let's once again try to juke these bad boys. Juke, juke. Oof, this one might be... Oh, we made it past... Woo! We made it past all of them. Look at that. We're geniuses. Great at this. All right, let's go see this mysterious monster, which, once again, it's going to be like a jellyfish-type creature, and it can... Oh, but there's the ship. Uh, I don't think I can... Oh, I can run past this. I just gotta make it. Woo! Look at that. Yeah, there it is. Right, let's go ahead and... Uh, beat it up. Let's go ahead and beat it up. So, of course, it's gonna be... A, a blue in it, right? It's a jellyfish. It's gonna be blue. So, we can only hurt it with red in this case. And you'll see even here, I'm pretty sure my attacks... Yeah, they don't do anything. So basically, let's try to get everybody, like, their ability up. And then we're going to be able to use our um, elements on it. Ooh, it hits fairly hard, actually. Ooh. It does hit fairly hard. Let's go ahead and use a 2. And then let's go to Surge. Let's use a Magma Burst on it. Let's see how much damage this does. Guys, I don't know, man. I don't know if I'll maybe even have enough elements to kill it. Hopefully I will. Hopefully I will. Let's go ahead and... Uh, would red pin hurt it? I mean, it is a red element. Okay, so it's a red element, so it would hurt it. That's kind of cool. Go ahead and hit it a couple times, and... Why not? Let's just use Magma Burst. And if you guys are wondering what's going on with the little blue balls on the top of the screen, well, uh, that is for the Chrono Cross. So, the way the Chrono Cross works, to use it, you need the elements in a certain order. So, right now, we're not using the Chrono Cross. So, basically, it's just up there for nothing. It'll just make a bunch of weird noises. Uh, but just know, at the end of the game, when we're going to be using the Chrono Cross, that's how we're going to be able to do it. By getting a certain order of elements and then using the Chrono Cross. Go ahead and keep using some of these fire elements. Oh, okay, that one that one did quite a bit of damage. No, 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 no. We might need a heal kid, maybe. Although, uh, show, we'll, we'll revive her if we need to, I guess. Let's go ahead and use Inferno. I wonder if this thing has any big spells. If it does, it hasn't shown. Oh, okay, so it's getting weak. So, yeah, we'll have way more than enough fire elements. That'll be great. I, I hit it a couple extra times for like no apparent reason right there. Okay, let's see, do we oh we do have enough time. Um Can we Oh, I was like, can we use a Chrono Cross? I wonder what it does without it. 
Like, without us doing the thing. Anyway, let's go ahead and use Inferno on it. I should probably test it out, honestly, but... I'm scared that it'll, like, heal the opponent. <laughs> and then I just don't want to do that. I don't want to deal with that. But it is dead, so that's good. Bum -ba -dum -ba -da -bum -ba -da. Bum -bum -bum. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and heal ourselves in case we get into another fight. But that is what we needed to do, I think. Now we can actually go on the ship. It won't open. Is this Starkey ship? We have to bring... Oh, bro, we gotta bring Starkey? Bro, I got... Okay, well, we defeated the jellyfish monster thingy. But let's go ahead and switch out Orla for Starkey. All right, now that we have Starkey with us, let's see what he does now. Wow, Starkey ship in this world is not broken. Starkey am happy. <laughs> Could that be the reason why we have air down here? Affirmative, Starkey ship creates a special force field. Starkey think in the other world, Starkey ship is in pieces and the parts are buried underground but still working. <laughs> yeah, it opened. Yeah, let's go in. Yeah, everything is in order. Navigation system's operational. Starkey's bed is nice and cozy. Can this take us to Terra Tower? The ship is only big enough to fly Starkey, then what do we do? Leave it to me. <laughs> Love the little noise when he wants. Dun, 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 dun. The engine may be a bit rusty, but otherwise perfect. Oh yeah, that, hmm. Maybe we can use this. Starkey may be able to scrounge up more stuff. Starkey will come back later. Easy does not What's this? It's an anti-gravity device. If you attach this to your boat, it will fly to Terra Tower easily. All we need now is a facility to install it. I remember there was a dock inside of Chronopolis. All right, let's be on our way to Chronopolis. Okay, so now we must head to Chronopolis. So that's, oh, it just automatically takes us there. Coolio. Let's see. Starkey need this and that. <laughs> oh yeah. Or, oh yeah, I don't, I don't really know how I'm supposed to say that. This should do the trick. Oi, all you have to do is load that thing on the boat, right? What are you talking about? We need to attach as a stabilizer to keep the auto gyro from spinning out of control. I don't get it, but just hurry up, okay? Time to get to work. Phew. Starkey am done. See, all you did was load it onto the boat. Negative. Okay, just don't understand. So this is it. Never expected our encounter to turn out like this. Did just surge. Why are we born? Why do we live? That's what we're going to find out with our own eyes. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Alright, bam. Now. Wait. Does this take us directly to Terra Tower? Let's do this. I'm hoping this doesn't take us directly there. I guess we'll see, right? But this is a cool animation right here. That is the Terra Tower. Let's get into it. Now, hopefully... Man, does it take me just directly here? That's a little bit bummy. I wanted to get some other things done before this. But, oh well. Maybe maybe we'll be able to get out. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who 
Let's, let's see. Will we be able to leave Terra Tower? Yes. Okay, so we can leave if we wanted to. Uh, we're obviously, I don't think we're going to finish it because of time. But we're definitely going to go in and get started and see what is up. And uh, surprisingly, I don't actually remember this place that much. So, um, I'll probably remember it once we get inside. But at this moment in time, I'm kind of going in blind. Just like you guys. Okay, there's a blob. Do we have to fight you? The ochre lands have dried up and withered. Oh, sure. It is your will to choose destruction. Okay, so we do have to fight something. I have no idea what this thing is. But you know what? Whatever it is, we're going to kick some butt. That's all I know. Okay, so it's not a yellow blob. It's an actual territor. Territor. Alright. Woo! He missed. Wave of fear. Nah, bruh. Miss me with that. Spirits up. Hit me with that. Okay, well. Let's just go over here. Try to get a few hits. Ah, oh, she's so weak. Jeez. How hard is he at? Ah, he hits pretty hard. Wow. Well, kind of sucks that Surge missed his three. Man, he does some damage. Jeez. Oh, no. That's going to hurt. Is that going to kill her? That sucks. Alright, I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, he's gonna heal himself. Oh, for only 80? Oh, okay, well, how many capsules are you gonna use here? Come on, buddy. Alright, well, we're definitely gonna hit up a... Uh, hit up a revive real quick. You know what I'm saying? So, I kind of let her die prematurely. But, I'll try to not let that happen. Let's go back to Kid. Go ahead and use a heal all real quick. And Kid is okay at healing, I think. About 250, right? Yeah. Uh, you know what? We're going to go ahead and just defend. Defend. Wave of fear. Uh, that's fine. That is a-okay. Spirit's up. So he's going to raise his own defense. That's fine. Let's see if we can get a few hits. Man, search hits hard. Jeez. Go ahead and hit with Orla. I think Orla hits a bit harder. Actually, I don't think so. Ah, oh, I didn't get to... Bam. Okay, so he hits Orla for a little bit less. But man, those hits are brutal. Um... Come on. Ah, that sucks so much. I was really hoping to hit that. Okay, well, let's try to get a few hits with her and then use a heal all. Oh, my God. Man, people are missing... All right, this shouldn't kill him. People are missing left and right, and that is so tilting. Like, y'all have to stop missing, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's try to hit a two. Mmm, stop. Please. It's really not that hard to not miss. I don't get why they keep missing those shots, man. And you could be saying, well, you're using the three attack constantly. Well, it's at 90%. Like, the 90% should be able to hit. It seems like my other ones that are 80 hit, and then when it comes to 90, they don't hit. Like, this guy would be dead by now if I just hit my stupid shots. Oh my gosh. I mean, this guy has to have some, like, crazy agility or something. Oof, that is some, that is some hits right there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, pull out another heal all. You know, I'm not gonna say mistake, I'm just gonna go ahead and heal. You know what? It doesn't matter. We're gonna go ahead and heal. Kid is still not at full health, but that's fine. Is that it? Seriously, he was below 19 HP. It's a little bit tilting. Or look, could have just hit him one more time instead of using an ability. Alright, there goes the Territor. That wasn't really a hard fight, actually. Other than me letting Kid die once. You know what? It's all good. It's no issue. Alright, so that, that was actually a boss. That was like a fairly easy boss. So that's... I'm okay with that. And I would save, but you know what? If I die ahead, I'll just redo that boss. That's not a hard boss. Might be just a little bit annoying. Okay. Clearly can't get past here. Looks like we're in for another puzzle, boys. Uh, let's go ahead and skip these dudes. 
Uh, if I find myself not strong enough for the boss, I'll just come back and fight them. Um, let's see, we got... Can't carry any more nostrums. Yep. Real question, how... Do we get up there? Am I lost? Oh, well we can do this. That's, that's a thing. It looks really unstable. But, you know what? We'll walk across it. Uh, please, Mr. Ghosty Man, stay away. Does that do anything? It doesn't look like it. Ah, let's keep moving on. That's just for decoration, then. Boop, 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 boop. Looks like we might have to fight this ghost, man. Ooh. Maybe we can dodge him. Maybe we can pull some of our sick reflexes out. Yoink, uh -huh. We got a juke. I don't think we'll be able to juke these two. That's for sure. Maybe, actually, maybe we'll be able to juke it. Let's see, let that guy go over there. Bam. Can we run in before the other ghost comes by? Okay, there we go. We did it. Juking everybody. Is there a thingy over here? Doesn't look like it. And over there, there's something over here. Oh, did, I'm, I'm just going to guess that they all go to the same place. Probably not. Oh, yeah, the other two places went there and there. Okay, well, real quickly, let's grab this chest. And I guess the other chest we just won't be able to get for now. Wait, there's not a chest up here. I'm delusional. Um, that's fine, though. Being delusional is fine. Let's go over here. Try to digi-dodge these left and right. Um, there's a door over there that I need to get to. Let's go up in here, up in here. Uh, oh! I dodge you. Oh, I think I could have dodged him. Alright. Oh, can I not go up there? Okay, well, it looks like we're going to have to travel through here. Try to... Man, I am so good at dodging enemies in this game. Uh, okay, we can't come up to that candle, but I don't see why we would need to. Let's go through this door right up in here. And then, do we go up? Is that where we're supposed to go? I starting to not think so because it won't let me any higher. All right, well I don't see the point of that, but you know what? Let's check out the rest of the place. Let's see what is over here, and there's stuff. Dude, am I just bad? Maybe I am bad. Maybe my earlier statements are baloney. Let's go down here. Let's see what's going on. I legitimately am completely like lost a little bit. I'm like, I'm not lost. I'm just like, I don't really know what to do. I don't get what the point of all this is. Well, let's try it out. Oh, okay. We didn't hit that thing. And now do we got to go down? Well, we're also going to have to fight this thing. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. No problemo. Let's go ahead and just demolish. Let's see how tough these things are. Ah, why? Man, oh, okay, they're not tough at all. Except, Insurge even missed a shot and still killed him. Ah, uh, oh, wait, okay, cool. So we'll be able to kill him with Surge. There we go. Okay, these things aren't tough at all. Okay, no problem, no problem. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I don't think, like, I'm over-leveled or anything, so... Actually, I think I'm under-leveled, considering the way I've been dodging these fools, you know what I mean? Let's keep going down. Is this... Oh, no, okay. I was like, is this only... Oh. Bro, why y'all... Why y'all gotta do this to me, man? I was on my way. Chilling. And y'all broke a thingy under me, man. I guess we got no way... No way but up. Surge. Surge. There's a face in the wall. Finally made it this far, Surge. What is that? Are you human? When I was still human, I was locked up here and have been here ever since. This tower is a fortress belonging to the ancient Reptites, a symbol of revenge brought against mankind by the dragoo dragons, not, the, not the dragoons. With the defeat of fate, the seal has been broken and this tower has surfaced. In the eyes of the dragons, we humans are the foes. A brain that has developed abnormally to three times the original size in the span of three million years. We humans have evolved at an enormous rate because of our contact with the Lavos flame. In a sense, mankind is Lavos' offspring. We humans are extraneous to this planet. Now, will you fight, Surge? 
Yeah, boy, let's get it. I will definitely do a little bit of fighting. Fighting sounds like fun. Uh, I guess we gotta climb on more man. I don't even know what these things are. It's like red plants. It's creepy. Let's go up in here. And we gotta go down. We gotta keep going up and down and up and down and up and down. And fighting these things that are so, so annoying. And By the way, guys, have we ever used our white summon? Is this the first time? Let's see. Or what is this? Is this just healing? Or is this an actual attack move? Yeah, we've never actually used this attack before. Just a bunch of spears. Oh, okay, it is an attack. 908, jeez. Okay. So it basically kills everything and it heals everybody. That's kind of a cool move, actually. It's kind of cool. Also, let me see if I'm correct. Shiny Salt, okay. So you guys also m might be wondering, uh, the last episode, I think, I showed off the rainbow, the crafting, and you guys might be wondering, well, how do you get those prism tools, which are the best tools in the game? Well, basically, you need to get those shiny things, and I told you guys that I didn't know how to get those. Well, pack of lies. Well, basically, how you get those is you have to finish off enemies with those summons. And, with, and if you kill an enemy with that summon, you basically get... Um, the material. So if it's a red summon, you get the shiny red stuff. And if it's a blue summon, blah, blah, blah. So in this case, we got the shiny salt, which is the white element stuff. So if we do want to grind prism materials, we basically need to get one person from every color and grind stardust with them. So we could do that. I, we don't really need to. I might do it anyway. Who knows, but real quickly. Oh god, don't follow me. Oh, we're gonna have to fight this thing. No, we're not. Okay. Huh. Uh, please. Oh, wait. Okay. We don't. I guess we are gonna fight this thing. Let's go ahead and see what is up with this guy. Do, do, do. Let's see. We haven't fought one of them before, so let's see how strong he is. I'm guessing he isn't that strong. Ah, oh, why? Surge. I'm telling you, Serge always misses his last shots for like no apparent reason. Okay, so the guy isn't uber strong. We actually just didn't even give him a chance to attack. He did have a good like thousand HP though, so that's not terrible. That ain't all bad. So let's keep heading on. I'm definitely gonna keep dodging them though. Uh, I don't really care. If Dude, is this guy seriously gonna chase me? Let's keep heading up the ladders. Keep heading up. Oh, I don't want to fight. Ooh, he's chasing. He saw home dog. Don't want none of that. Now this guy might be a little bit harder. Oh, okay, we made it. So that guy might have been a little bit harder to escape from. All right, so I'm guessing. Oh, okay. There's just this thingy over here. Let's go see what is going on. In this giant oh we're up here okay well cool let's keep going what let's try to dodge this guy let's go ahead and drop that bam so now we got oh can we just go straight down hey look at that cool all right bada bing bada boom was that the entire by the way guys this is really sad to say but this is actually, I think, the last dungeon in the game. Okay, so don't let the f looks fool you. Those little cupids, they are actually dangerous. Don't don't get it twisted. Don't 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 fool yourself. Those things are dangerous. What's in here? Heal plus. Let's try to swiggity swiggity past this thing, and let's go fight this this red blob. Now I didn't save. So let's just hope we don't die. Many have blood suffered and perished. This is your turn to die. Not really. Sadly, it is not my turn to die. It is your turn to die. 
All right, so we got Mr. Uh, Redfire Centaur over here. Let's kick some butt. Bro, Surge, how are you about to miss? Ah, oh, but good hits. Bro, how are you about to miss? Sadness wave. Dude, this dude's trying to hit us with the feels, man. Get that out of here. Get that feels out of there. Um, let's go hit him with that punch drug. Good thing is Orla is... I think she's blue, right? She's blue. So, and this guy's red. So this will hit quite hard. And I gotta clean my glasses. Alright. Ugh, my glasses are so dirty. Tablet. Bro, that's not gonna do nothing. That'll heal you for like 30 health. My mans, what are you doing? Bro, this guy... This guy seriously didn't stock up on anything but tablets. Come on, bro. Real come on, bro, is why Search keeps missing his first shot. That's 94%. What's this guy doing? Search, man. You need, you need some accuracy training. Actually, that's a good idea. I should probably put something on Search to increase his accuracy, low key. If he's my main hitter, I need him to start hitting some shots. So after this battle, I might look into that. Let's see if I can give him like a silver loop. Omega Red. Okay, as long as it didn't hit Orla, we're actually fine. This would only really hurt. Oh, well, that still hurt a bit. That would only really hurt if it hit Orla. But this guy should be dead. These guys aren't very hard. They have some hard hitting, like, Omega elements. Other than that, if we can survive one or two hits from that, we could out heal it and beat the crap out of this guy. And this was another opportunity to use Salamander, but once again, um, that'd be. That might heal him. And I'm not looking to lose because I accidentally heal the boss. You know what I'm saying? Bam. Go ahead and heal up. I don't know if there's a second boss straight up ahead. But don't want to take no chances up in here. Oh, and real quickly, like I said, let's take a look at Surge's equips. Does he have a silver? He already has one on. Improves hit percent. And I might need two of those on. My man's over here. Does not know how to hit his shots. And I'm really hoping he gives us a save point here. Come on. A save point is needed. I don't want to die. Okay, we made it past that thing in Majigger. Right up here. Wait. Oh, okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get that chest just because I'm curious. Honestly, most chests in this game don't really go that don't give that good of stuff. Rainbow shell, I take it back. That was some good stuff right there. Bro, can you move? You go away. Thank you. Wait, get Cupid out of here. Alright, let's keep going. I don't want to fight no little Cupid. You little evil Cupid. Get out of here. Let's wait until... I think if we go down the ladder, we'll hit it. Bro, go. Get out of here. Oh, we hit it. Alright, you know what? That's fine. Uh, we never fought one of these yet. Let's go ahead and fight one. See how strong they are. See what kind of moves they have. So let's go ahead and hit them with the... Bro, Surge. This guy's got to stop missing, my dudes. It's going to hurt us so much late game if he just doesn't stop missing. Holy healing. Jeez. Bro, these dudes are trying to heal each other. Okay. Slash all. Bro, little Cupid, why you gotta do this to me, man? Okay, that only hit really kid for a little bit. Bro, Cupid, get out of here, bro. Slash and dash you. Let's go ahead with Orla. She should be able to hit pretty hard. Okay, back to Surge. Let's go ahead and finish this guy off. If Surge doesn't miss all his shots, at least. Okay, these guys aren't that hard either. So they, if you're a little bit like under or have weaker characters, I would see how they'd be quite annoying if they just keep like holy healing themselves. But they were no problem, no problem, no problem. Now let's try not to hit this next one since we've already fought one. I don't, I'm not really in the mood to fight another one. But, no. All right, let's continue on past that guy. See what's up in here. Spectral glove. What is that? Oh wait, it's a glove. It's an attack weapon. Okay, well we can't use that. So 
Yeah, we don't really have someone with gloves on our team. But that's a cool item, I guess, if we ever decide to switch out Orla for a glove user. We have one of that, so that's pretty cool. Now... Okay, guys, you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to leave the episode off here. And then next time, we'll go ahead through the rest of this Terra, uh, Terra Tower and do everything we need to do. So, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.